Today's date is June 2nd, my birthday. It literally is my birthday. This is the only day that we could schedule this event, and it happened to be on my birthday. So, kind of crazy, huh? It is kind of setting again. I'm less than a month away from my last formal day on campus. So it's, 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 it's definitely setting again. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but it's, it's sort of, um, I'm, I'm kind of shocked that it's actually here. We wanted to make sure that as we're going out the door, that we do something positive for the college. So we scheduled this event as, as a, basically a, a, a retirement event, but also as a way to raise some funds for music students here or a general scholarship on campus. So we've, we set the endowment and already had a decent amount in it. And so we wanted to see if we could do a little bit more for the college. It's challenging to, to retire, but I'm, I'm so much looking forward to being with my wife and my kids uh, uh, full time as opposed to part time for the first time in 40 years. So it's, it'll be good. I want to welcome everybody to the celebration of Dr. Dale Nasberry uh, retirement. I'm your MC for today. It's been a long time since I have uh, MC the event. So, um, Paul Allen Billings from 103.7 to be. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So y'all have some mercy on me today. It's been over 20 years since I have emceed an event, but uh, very good friends with Dr. Dale Nesbury. So when they asked me to be here, uh, it, it's an honor, a very, a very distinctive honor. Throughout the ceremony, please give all the good energy you can to Dr. Dale, Dale Nesbury. Not only, please, not only is it his retirement open house, but it's also his birthday. Yeah, you didn't think I knew that, right? So, yes, to st start off um, this open house, this celebration, um, Diane Osborne has been uh, a trustee for Muskegon Community College ever since, I don't know, before Dr. Dale got here. And I know she played a very good role in him being selected president of Muskegon Community College. And so it's only fitting uh, for Miss Diane Osborne to, to give the first presentation today. Welcome. Welcome everybody. Uh, I am Diana Osborne, and I'm currently the chair of uh, the Board of Trustees. And I just wanted to, uh, something I just noticed here, that today is National Leave the Office Day Early. And by, <laughs> and by the looks of this room, I think that everyone's uh, uh, doing that today. And so, and I also wanted to thank whoever did weather, it's great. Yeah. But I want to, again, welcome you to the celebration for Dr. Dale K. Nesbury as he retires. At the May board meeting of the Board of Trustees, we did pass a resolution honoring Dr. Nesbury's accomplishments and putting them into the public record. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I want to share our thoughts and comments with you today. He became president in 2009 and has accomplished the goals he set out to meet. In the past, MCC has been known as the diamond in the rough. It was like a mountain. Said the mountain, I will change so slowly that none will notice and people will feel secure. Then enter Dr. Dale Nesbury and the college became more like the sand dune. Said the sand dune, I will change with the wind so that all will see and be filled with surprise. MCC is no longer a diamond in the rough. Dr. Ga Dr. Nesbury has guided Muskegon Community College for the past 13 years as its second longest serving president. As a Twin Lake, Michigan native and proud graduate of Reese Puffer High School, he is the only homegrown president in the 96 year history of MCC. 
Now, you're cheering about Reese Puffer, and, <laughs> yeah. and you know, um, I've got to the point where I think you have to be a Reese Puffer graduate in order to be qualified for a job here, so. <laughs> so, Dr. Nesbury earned a bachelor and master's degree from Michigan State University and a doctorate from Northeastern University. He used his knowledge in both the public sector and academia with the Senate Fiscal Agency, the City of Boston Police Department, Oakland University, Adrian College, and Muskegon Community College. As the MCC president, he tapped into his analytical government and higher education experience to improve student success and support on campus as well as overseeing the successful efforts leading to voters' approval of a $24 million millage. Dr. Nesbury is fulfilling his vision for the college, led its greatest physical transformation in a half century with the mix of both new and renovated facilities that include the Science Center, the, the Health and Wellness Center, the Sturis Technology Center, the Rooks Garnicola Entrepreneurial Institute, and the Arts and Music Building. Dale brought music back to MCC. There were times when going to an event or activity, you would expect to see him at the podium. But there he was playing with the band, which if you were here earlier, you saw him do that. Basically, the halls were alive with the sound of music. Under Dr. Nesbury's leadership, the college secured more than $20 million in grants and private gifts, including the largest Michigan Economic Development Corporation grant in West Michigan history. Yes. <laughs> Dr. Nesbury and his wife, Connie, have selflessly led the example with their donations of more than 150,000 to the college and regional nonprofit organizations. <laughs> Muskegon Community College has currently been named the number two community college in the state. In the recent past, MCC was named number one in the state and 19 in the country with the nursing program at the top. Dr. Nesbury served on numerous boards, including the Blue Lake Fine Arts Camp, the Community Foundation, Talent 2025, Mercy Health, and the Michigan Community College Association, just to name a few. At this time, the Muskegon Community College Board of Trustees wants to extend its deepest gratitude to Dr. Dale Nesbury for his dedicated service and contributions to MCC and joins the community in thanking him for his exceptional leadership. In closing, I want to state a favorite quotation. I saw that under the sun, the race was not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor your favor to men of skill, but time and chance happened to them all. It's Dale's time to retire and move into the next chapter of his life, and it's our chance to wish him the best ever. Around the campus, you will see signs that say, of course you can. In Dale's case, it is, of course he did. So, thank you. Congratulations on your retirement and everything. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Board Chair uh, Diane Osborne. Next is a major employer of, uh, from the city of Muskegon Heights. His company employs over 120 people in our community. He's given jobs to people who have ne needed second chances. He has made investments back into nonprofits and in the city of Muskegon Heights. Um, Brad Hillary, CEO of Web Chemical, please. Thanks, Paul. 
Uh, also, I have the privilege of also being the CEO of Trace Laboratories in Muskegon, another employer, and we've got about 35 employees, and we just doubled in size with an addition. So a lot of growth happening in Muskegon and Muskegon Heights, and, and, and glad to be part of that. And I've had a long history with the college. We employ a number of people from MCC, and uh, an interesting history uh, with this guy over here to my left, uh, Dale. That's what I'm here to talk a little bit about today. So uh, I have had the privilege of serving on a number of boards and committees with this guy. And that might sound boring, but it's not. Because as I became a leader in this community, it was by learning and, and watching other leaders and taking what they did and the best part of them to help me in my leadership. And one of those was watching him and how he interacted with people in these committees and on these boards. And what Dale does, and many of you know this in this room, and if you reflect on it, is he truly wants and asks for other people's opinion. That's a gift that not all of us have, and he has it. And I thank you for that, Dale, and I've watched that over the years. And he takes those opinions of others and those ideas to help create a win-win situation for whatever you're working on. He wants it to be the betterment of everyone, and for that, you need the opinion of everyone in the room. So thank you, Dale, for that example, and I wanna just clap for that because I learned a lot from that. Now, I know some of you in the room know this, but if you don't, Dale's talent, uh, his musical talent is not, or artistic talent, is not just reserved for his horn playing. He is also a fantastic dancer. And that is where I got to uh, have some fun with Dale as we danced uh, with Lisa Jerichovic, who's in the back of the room, uh, with Dancing with the Local Stars. We did it individually, and then a couple of years ago when they had a reunion, we were a blast from the past where we got to do that together. And so uh, Dale was fantastic with that. And, and one of the other things that I recognize uh, with Dale, whether it be in a room like this, uh, dancing is he's got one of the most powerful smiles in our community and it lights up the room it puts you at ease and so when he asks for that opinion you're willing to give it uh, and I think because of that uh, education obviously has been your life um, your 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 record and your experience and your resume before even coming to Muskegon was amazing but what you've done here with this community has been nothing short of remarkable. And I, and I wanna thank you for your, your passion and your advocacy for your students and your passion and your advocacy for this college and your passion and your advocacy for this community. And all of us owe you a debt of gratitude for that. So congratulations on your retirement. I wish you and Connie the best. Thank you, Brad. Um, did y'all enjoy the food? Give it up for country cooking. Give it up for country cooking. Where's uh, Destiny? Destiny and her husband, Kimmy. Are they out there? I just want y'all to see who, who, who prepared the food, because they are available. Destiny, are you out there? Maybe you're cleaning. I want, them to, I want you to see Destiny and her husband, Kimmy. Tell them, come on. They are available for the summer. Actually, when I come to town, um, Destiny prepares meal for me. So she's like my personal chef when I'm in town and, and have me five meals ready while I'm here and never have to worry about the food. Good, good food. Uh, thanks, good choice. I don't know who selected them, but that was a very good choice. Next, uh, just elected to office uh, as mayor of the city of Muskegon about five months ago, maybe six months ago. Uh, Mayor Ken Johnson, special presentation for Dr. Dale Nesbury. Thank you, PA. Yes, I'm Ken Johnson, mayor of this magnificent city of Muskegon. Uh, good to be here with you all. And uh, yes, I can uh, fully endorse uh, country cooking. They are 
wonderful people and delicious food, and I was so excited to see them here when I arrived here. Um, if you haven't had a chance, get the shrimp and grits. If you ever see them out and about and there's shrimp and grits available, get it. Get seconds, too, to bring home because you want, you're going to want more, more later. Now, um, Mr. Hillary just before mentioned that uh, Dr. Nesbury was always um, uh, engaging and willing to receive input from others and was proactive in receiving that. And I remember when I first joined the city commission, um, I got elected in 2013 as an at-large commissioner. And when I first joined it, he reached out um, and we got breakfast at Carmen's, and he, he reached out solely for the purpose of better understanding me and uh, you know, wanting to gain my perspective and just build a relationship. He didn't, he didn't come with an ask. He didn't come with a need. He didn't come with you know, the community college or his personal benefit in mind. It was purely uh, that relationship building, um, and I thought that was special, and it, it reflected a special quality man as well. Uh, and I've been um, honored to know him over the subsequent years, and I'm incredibly grateful for his leadership and the leadership of the MCC Board of Trustees um, with this college and the contributions they've made to the greater Muskegon community and been such a critical part of our downtown's redevelopment and revitalization. And so I'm so thankful uh, for you, Dr. Ne Dr. Nesbury. Now, a resolution of recognition and tribute honoring Dale K. Nesbury, PhD. Whereas Dr. Dale K. Nesbury is retiring after 44 years in higher education, research, and leadership positions, including 13 years of distinguished service as the 10th president of Muskegon Community College, and whereas Dr. Nesbury grew up in Twin Lake, Michigan, attended Reese Puffer Schools, and went on to earn his Doctorate of Law, Policy, and Society at Northeastern University in Boston, a Master of Public Administration degree from Western Michigan University, and a Bachelor of Arts degree from Michigan State University, go green! <laughs> he returned to Muskegon to become MCC's first African-American president in 2009 and used his accumulated wealth of knowledge and experiences to advance not only the college, but the greater Muskegon community. And whereas Dr. Nesbury set out from the very beginning to make MCC the best community college in the state of Michigan, having achieved a number one ranking statewide in 2017 based on standard higher education metrics and replicating that feat in 2021 along with earning a remarkable ranking of 19th best community college in the entirety of the United States of America. And whereas Dr. Nes during Dr. Nesbury's tenure, MCC completed $55 million in facility expansions and updates, including a state-of-the-art science center, a nationally renowned health and wellness center, an automotive center, the Art and Music Building, and the Ottawa Center, as well as the Sturis Technology Center and Rook Sarnacola Entrepreneurial Institute, housing the Lakeshore Fab Lab and Consumer Energy Steam Lab in downtown Muskegon. And whereas Dr. Nesbury and his wife Connie have donated extensively to support local philanthropic endeavors, as well as cultural and educational initiatives, including the establishment of the Dale and, Cos uh, Dale and Connie Nesbury Endowment and the Nesbury Scholarship. And whereas Dr. Nesbury has worked with the city of Muskegon in revitalizing its downtown core and stimulating regional economic development with MCC's programming, initiatives, and curricula leading to the betterment of Greater Muskegon. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Kenneth D. Johnson, mayor of the city of Muskegon, and speaking on the behalf of the city commission, our vice mayor German over here as well, um, and the citizens of Muskegon, do hereby thank, so incredibly deeply thank, Dr. Nesbury for his contributions to the greater Muskegon area. I congratulate him on his retirement and wish him and his family the very best in health and happiness in the future. Thank Dr. Nesbury. Thank you, Dr. Nesbury. Now, as Chair Osborne mentioned, have you seen the signs around here? Of course you can. And she mentioned, of course he did. Now, going forward, of course we will keep his legacy alive and build on his accomplishments for the betterment of our greater Muskegon. Thank you. Mayor.
Ken Johnson. Please, uh, if you're taking pictures, what kind of hashtag? Doctor, what do we want to put? Dale Nasberry? Hashtag Dale Nasberry? Hashtag Dale Nasberry 2022? But make sure you take a lot of pictures and let's put this on social media. We want to be trending uh, with something good for our community. This man, is, he's, he's, he, he has done so much in this community. And the speakers we have, they're just going to touch on a, on a little bit of it. But he has really transformed our downtown. Uh, he has transformed the minds of a lot of young folks in our community. They can see the possibilities. He's impacted me. Uh, our radio station gave Doc the Living Legends Award, where he joins the works of uh, Bishop Nathaniel Wells, Charles Poole, um, Judge Pittman, and other great leaders who have left an impact on our community. So we don't take this lightly that um, he did not have to come back to Muskegon. Nobody is lining up to come back here, unfortunately. But he chose to come back here, and he's been busting his butt for the last 12, 13 years to help this community. And so take as many pictures as you can and share them, and let's keep his name out there. And I don't believe he's going to retire. I don't know what y'all, that's, <laughs> that's just retirement number one. All right, Todd Jacobs, CEO of Community Foundation from Muskegon. Good afternoon. Again, I'm Todd Jacobs. I have the honor of serving as the president in, of the Community Foundation here in Muskegon County. But probably more important, I'm student number 843110. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the privilege of working with Dale over the last 10 years. Um, certainly most recently in my role at the Community Foundation here in Muskegon. But Dale is a former Community Foundation trustee, has been a valued community partner a mentor, and particularly, um, he's, uh, he's worked with us around issues that are greater than just the educational needs within our community. And I think that's one of the things that I appreciated about Dale is that he wasn't restricted um, by the services that are primarily provided by the college, but looked to expand and to influence um, the community socially, economically, and providing opportunities for everybody. One of the things that Dale and the Board of Trustees helped us along with was finding a home for farm, which is the food accelerator that's located on campus just off of the Sevens Road. And MCC is, uh, uh, is working in partnership with MSU to make that a, a reality for our farmers and for our, our regional agribusiness folks. But if it wasn't for that partnership and that openness, that would not uh, be happening. We were very proud to walk alongside, and it was a pleasure to walk alongside MCC in Dale as it relates to the creation of the Office of Diversity that's been established this past year by Muskegon Community College, providing critical resources for not-for-profits and for small businesses here in Muskegon County. You've heard a, a list from the other folks of the wonderful things that Dale has done. That is why last fall, Dale was the first recipient of the Community Foundation's Impact Award. I'm not sure which order this should really fall in, but we all know Dale as a Spartan. <laughs> a college president, an educational leader, an innovator, a community servant, musician, husband, father, friend, and a jammery. Yes, he is a jam maker. He is a confectionist of sweet spreads. He is a conductor of marmalades. I recall one meeting I came to Dale's office, and I don't think I've ever seen him more excited in my entire life. He was delighted about his latest batch of jam. Um, more, I think probably just as, as much so as when he first became a father. <laughs> I believe it was peach, I believe it was peach, Dale, and it was spicy, if my, if my memory is right. So what is in store for Dale? 
I'm not sure. Maybe there's a little bit of an entrepreneurship uh, piece that's still there. I'd like to suggest a small business. And I think that new business should be called The Jam. <laughs> and I think by the day, you make your favorite marmalades. And then by night, you groove and you jam with your musician friends. <laughs> Congratulations, Dale and Connie. Okay, is there someone here from uh, Governor's Whitmer, Governor Whitmer's office? I don't know if it's Myers made it here. Is someone here from the Governor's office? Okay. All right, uh, coming next, uh, State Senator, former State Senator Jeff Hansen, and a past member of the Foundation for Muskegon Community College Board of Directors. Oh boy, you know, I, I get a call from Dale. He says, hey, I'm retiring. He says, no, you can't retire. He says, but I am, and I'd really like you to come in and just say a few words, if you would. And it's like, seriously, Dale? You, you know I'm retired now, right? I, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty busy fishing and stuff, so I, I you know, I, he says, you know, I, I would really appreciate it. So it's like, all right, I know. For you, I'd, for Dale, I'd probably do about anything, and sometimes I think we have done about a few things, but it's just been, it's been so great because as soon as I hung up the phone and I called over to my wife, I says, Tammy, you know where I put my long pants? <laughs> and today, I get off the fishing boat so I can come here, and I go home and it's like, oh my gosh, I have to shave. I mean, I had to get a haircut yesterday. I had to find my shoes, and all. Of, and it's like, it won't be long, and, and it's going to be you. <laughs> and so, if you're going to retire, do it right. Don't fail. No, you know, I, 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 it's really important that you make the next step with grace. And I gave up on everything else. It's just, it's just in the retirement. But you know, it's, it's been a it was an honor to work with Dale uh, through my entire career as we were working to uh, better the community college. He is such, it's just so hard to say no to Dale. He calls you up and he's like, I have this vision. Tell me about it, Jeff. Tell me what you got, Dale. Well, you know, we, we really need to add on here. We really need to work on this or you, you know what? We could serve our students better, which was usually the first thing he said, if we were able to do this, if we were able to have this, if we were able to, I don't know, build a new cafe gymatorium. <laughs> which, well, you know, that was a challenge in itself, but the things that they came up with were always geared towards making a better life for the students of this community college. And it's been, it's, you know, it just, I, I keep saying it's an honor because it was. And I, the phone calls that we'd get, I, 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 I kind of called him my stalker for a while because every day you get a call from Dale. He's got, you know, but I always took him because I know that it's going to be the right thing. I know that if it's, if it's, if Dale's telling me something, that it is going to make a difference in someone's life. So that's, the entire career of Dale has been trying to make people's lives better. And he's done such a great job here. I mean, getting to be number one community college in the, in this, well, really in the nation, but in the state has been, you know, I mean, that takes a lot of work, a lot of perseverance, a lot of vision. And with Dale and, and the board backing Dale, what a, you know, what a great thing it's been for this community. It put this community back on the map, along with all of the other things that are happening. It was part of the rebirth of Muskegon. It wasn't just the city, it wasn't just the downtown, it wasn't just everything else. The community college was helping to feed it also, with the students coming out of here and the vision and the things that they're doing. It's been an amazing journey 
And somewhere I lost my part in here, and I was going to say something. But, you know, with the different capital outlay uh, requests that Dale had, we had a couple of things going for us. Number one, one of my best friends was uh, Senator Darren Boer, who happened to be the chairman of the Capital Outlay Committee. And then I had a great team working with me in the House because we had, well, Senator Bumstead, then Rep. Bumstead, we had Rep. Sabo, Representative Hughes, and then Representative Hubby Wright. We all worked together to make sure that this institution got what it needed to make it to the next step, to the next level, to be that shining star that we needed as we went through some troubling times. I, you know, I, I just feel, and I'm gonna just say that I've been blessed to have Dale um, as a friend, kind of as a mentor working with me on some of the things and, and helping me to understand some of the needs and some of the, uh, some of the ways to get there. And it's just been, it's been a, a truly been an honor to work with Dale. And um, I, I just got to say is, Connie, make sure that Dale calls me to go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> because he's going to be retired now, so you're going to need him to get out of the house. Because I hear that at home a lot now. <laughs> my, my buddy calls up and says, you want to go fishing? My wife goes, go, go. <laughs> so... Congratulations, thank you, and um, good luck, you know, because it's going to be a challenge for you, I think. <laughs> Please move to the front. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, State Senator. And I want to acknowledge Jeff Hansen. When he was in office, and, and I, I, got, I can say this too about the current senator we have, it, he made sure he reached across the aisle to work with Democrats on a lot of stuff. And I think Muskegon is a better place because of people like Jeff Hansen, Bonstad, and Terry Sable. So y'all can get at a hand clap. Yeah. I stay in Florida part time and it's not happening like that down there. It's one way or the other. That's it. Coming next is a special presentation from State Senator uh, Bonstad and Terry Sable, State Rep. Terry Sable. Thank you very much. And I, I want to tell a little story. When, <laughs> when Dr. Nesbury came to Lansing, this was like five years ago. We were doing a special ask for some dollars with the budget director of Governor Snyder. I think John was in that meeting and time, after about five or ten minutes we're talking to the budget director asking for a special ask. It wasn't much, I think it was five million dollars and <laughs> we, we ended up getting it too by the way. And uh, I didn't know if the budget director was going to throw him out of it because he was getting, uh, Dale was getting really passionate about the community college and about things what's going on in Muskegon and kind of getting mad at the same time and what's happening and I'm not sure if the budget director was going to throw us out or write him a check that second. So luckily he wrote him a check within a few days so it worked out pretty well. But he was passionate about the issue for all of us in Muskegon County and it was, it was very interesting that day because I'd, I'd really never seen a budget director, what do I do with this guy? <laughs> but it worked out very well. So Representative Sabo, he's going to read yep. the first half. We're going to do this in teams. I'll now read the second half. So I want to first start out by saying we hear, we've heard a lot of, about the professional stuff that uh, Dr. Nesbury um, accomplished in his career, which is really incredible in itself. But I, what I want to reflect on, and what I will always reflect on, is the type of person that he is. He, he's just a darn good person. Um, I mean, we hear all the other stuff about all the accomplishments and, and, uh, and everything else, but... Uh, he is, I, actually I was just on a, on a, doing an interview with a PA um, on the radio station a little bit ago and uh, that was one of the things I brought up is, um, is that, you know, he's, he's just fun to listen to. I love listening to the things that Dr. Nesbury says, um, whether he's talking about work, whether he's talking about his family or the things that he's done in the past in his, in his personal life. Um, he's, just a, he's just a fantastic guy, period. And I got a funny feeling that there's a lot of young men and women in this community 
that are growing up hoping that they can be the next Dr. Nesbury. So, um, you want me to start out? Uh, sure. So, can I borrow your glasses when you're done? Sure, yeah. Okay. So, uh, we have a, a, a special tribute here from the state of Michigan to uh, Dr. Nesbury. Let it be known that it is with great respect for his successful career with Muskegon Community College that we honor Dale K. Nesbury. After 13 years of dedicated service and retiring as the second longest serving president of Muskegon Community College, we applaud Dale for his devotion to the Muskegon area and students alike. We thank him for his career and passion for leading our next generation. Stand by. <laughs> Dale has served in his multiple professional roles over the course of his career. He has served as Vice President of the Dean of Academics Affairs at Adrian College, as the Associate Professor and Director of Masters of Public Administration program at Oakland University, as a Technical Service Director with the Boston Police Department, and as several leadership positions with the City of Boston. All these experiences have fully prepared Dale for his leadership at Muskegon Community College, and his record shows this to be true. Since his time at Muskegon, Dale has been an exemplary professional who has served many in the community with great leadership, passion, and dedication. Therefore, his merits are highest praise. We are proud to join with his many admirers, friends, and family, especially his loving wife, Connie, in saluting his successful career in administration for Muskegon Community College. In a special tribute, therefore, this document is signed and dedicated to congratulating Dale K. Nesbury for his outstanding career as president of Muskegon Community College. We extend our best wishes to Dale in his happiest of retirements. Signed, State Representative Greg Van Workham. Signed, Terry Sabo, State Representative. Signed, John Bumstead, State Senator. Congratulations. See, that's bipartisan. Them guys, uh, act, I think they're running against each other, too, right? <laughs> right? Right, Terry? <laughs> All right, that's good. I love it. I love it. All right, um, the next remark will be coming from former trustee Ann Oaks, who played a very, uh, very tremendous role in making sure Dr. Dale Nesbury came back to Muskegon. And so we want to we wanna welcome her uh, to the mic. We want to honor uh, Dr. Nesbury and his wife and to our fine MCC board. We appreciate the opportunity to have just a few words to say. I serve with Dr. Nasbury. We serve together. He's the president and on the board. And my, my seat was right next to the president's. I enjoyed working with him. I enjoyed uh, his assistance on various things. And one thing I can really say about, he always provided the board with all the information that we ask of him. He provided us with detailed information. And not only that, he really promoted his staff. They communicated from each department, which I thought that was tremendous. One of the things also that I admire about him, he loves his family. He is a family man, and we thank him for that. There's a little thought that I remember him sharing, him being a Reese Puffer grad, but he attended Twin Lake Elementary School. Dr. Nasbury was one of the most 
people that spent so much time in the community relating to the community MCC. And I think his interaction in the community helped him accomplish the things that, that he did, all the things that he did. He's amazing. I'm amazed at his ability to retain facts. Oh my goodness. He could retain so many facts. And his ability to navigate Lansing, and even when we went to uh, meetings in Washington, his ability to navigate and to remember all the, the various senators, the very legislators, all of their names, he's tremendous at that. There's a little thought that I want him to remember. Your gentleness has made you great. There was a little, he attended one of the parades, I believe, in Twin Lake, and there was a little child that came up to him. And he's, Dr. Nesbury is very tall, but he knelt down and he talked to the little child. And he said, I attended Twin Lake Elementary School like you. And you know, you can become a president. You, become, you can become anything you want to be. And Dr. Nesbury, I believe that's what you've done. You've allowed people to become what they desire to be. You promoted them, you pushed them, others have gone on to get doctorate degrees. I just really appreciate what I've seen you do to help others become what they desire to be. So I encourage you as you go to whatever your next place is in life, that God will tremendously bless you, give you the strength that you need, you and Connie and the family, and I've appreciated so much that you came back to Muskegon to bring to us all the things that you have gleaned, that the Lord has taken you different places. You brought it back home and shared with us. So may you find greater happiness, greater peace, and remember your gentleness has made you great. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Oaks. Do we have uh, any current or past trustees from the board? Can you please stand? Because we realize everybody can't speak. If you've been on the board of trustees for the college, current, <laughs> Kathy, one. all right. Thank you, thank you for your service. Thank you. Next remark is coming from the from the Board of uh, County Commissioners, representing the Muskegon County Board of Commissioners, we have Commissioner Charles Nash. Thank you, PA. Um, Marcia, do we have any other commissioners here, county commissioners? You wanna come up? We did this as a group, so I want to make sure that we're all represented. Um, if you want any words, no, I I am very proud that very proud that we are able to um, make this happen. Um, Charles provided leadership, and uh, we we worked through it, and and uh, I think it's a very very beautiful tribute to Dr. Nisbury. Thank you. Just um, before I read the resolution, I just want to say that um, there's, there's one thing I always remember about Dr. Nasberry, and I will always remember about him, is that he was always open, always welcoming. There never was a time where I had to contact him and he did not respond, or it took a long time for him to respond. He was more than willing to open his door and, and meet with you and discuss with you and work with you on any type of projects that you wanted to work with him on. And that, 
That, that stood with me because I saw him do that not only with me, but I saw him do it with everybody he came in contact with. It was nothing he wasn't willing to do to help someone. And I think that's the, uh, that's the sign of a true servant, you know, uh, especially of the people. I just thought of something that I wanted to call attention to. Um, I was part of a group called the Friends of the Lakeshore Fitness Center. And um, I don't know if there's anybody else here from that group. I don't, I uh, can't see all that well. Anyway, um, we worked for about two years um, with the college and with Dale uh, and uh, the board to try to save that fitness center so that it could be available to the public. So now, as you know, the Boys and Girls Club bought it, and um, half of it is still the Lakeshore, well, it's now called the Neal Fitness Center, and then the other half is for um, the Boys and Girls Club. So we're serving all ages, and it it's, has access to the lake. We're very proud of that thing, and, and um, Dr. Nesbury was uh, very helpful in that whole process, as was the board. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Dr. Nesbury, I would say that you are probably um, one of our many great examples of how you can be uh, born into adversity, but still make leaps and bounds and show everyone that as long as you work hard and you're determined that you can be successful no matter what. And I think that's the example that resonates not only to me, but to many of us in this community. Um, and then you came to MCC and just opened up more doors and more avenues and more roadways that people can make themselves successful. And for that, we are greatly appreciated. This resolution reads, in recognition of the retirement of Dr. Dale Nesbury. Whereas Dr. Nesbury was appointed as the 10th president and the first African-American president of Muskegon Community College in 2009, serving 13 years. And I believe that's the second longest stint of any president of MCC. Whereas under Dr. Nesbury's tenure, MCC was ranked the best two-year college in Michigan by a national college ranking website, bestcolleges.com. And whereas MCC received a score of 78.21, the highest of the 25 two-year colleges in Michigan that were ranked. And whereas MCC was, has secured over 50 million in bonds, grants, and gifts to support upgrades to its facilities under Dr. Nesbury's leadership. And whereas Dr. Nesbury served his community by sitting on the Michigan Community College Association Board of Directors, Chair of the Trinity Health System, Michigan Regional Board, member of the Lakeshore Advantage Board, and other national, state, and local boards. Too many to name. Whereas Dr. Nesbury is an expert at managing budgets, leading people, and has an exceptional work ethic to advance education. And whereas this board recognizes the positive impact on Muskegon County by Dr. Nesbury. And now, for, now therefore be it resolved that the Muskegon County Board of Commissioners would like to thank Dr. Nesbury for his service, numerous accomplishments as the Muskegon Community College president, and congratulate him on his retirement at the end of the school year in June 2022. And wish him many days of sitting on the back porch with his lovely wife, Connie, watching the sunset. All right, thank you to the County Board of Commissioners for their presentation. I met a, a young man earlier today that I interviewed on radio. He came all the way from Detroit, uh, a former student of 
Dr. Dale Nesbury at, at Oakland University. If you're in this room, please stand up. I think Doc needs to see you. It's a young man. He's over here. Came all the way from Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he told me how the doc really inspired him as a young kid for higher ground. Now he runs the social media for Consumer Energy. He's the social media manager for uh, Consumer Energy. That's, that's what Dr. Dale Nesbury do. He inspire people to do better. That's, <laughs> yes. Next, um, coming from the office of Senator, U.S. Senator Gary Peters. A special presentation from Peter Dickoff. Thank you, uh, President Nesbury and Connie. It's such an honor to be here. Senator Peters and Colleen send you their best wishes. They're very sorry they couldn't be here. And just want to note for some of the, how your paths have crossed with Gary and Colleen over the years, uh, primarily at Oakland University, but also here in Muskegon. And he would like to thank you for the work that you have done to build this college into one of the most vital forces of the Lakeshore's economic resurgence. For that, he thanks you so deeply. And on behalf of the Senator, uh, President, uh, we have a certificate of senatorial recognition that reads, in recognition of your long and impactful career in higher education, research, and leadership, Senator Gary Peters. All right, before we bring up uh, uh, the main event, I guess, because, you know, this is a two for one. When you got Dr. Dale Nesbury, you got Connie Nesbury, and, and she's uh, the force behind him. Before we bring her up, though, any staff for MCC, if you're a staff for M MCC, please stand up. If you work here, please stand up. Wow. Thank you so much. And... Dr. 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 Selman, please, please remain standing because I just want people to see you. You got some huge shoes to fill. Dr. Selman, the, the president, new president. Dr. Dale Nesbury believed in him and brought him here. He trained him. He showed him the ropes. Every step of the way, everything that Doc did, Dr. Selman was there by his side. So he don't need OJT. He don't need to go out and say hello to the community. They know him. He know what, where Hackley Street is at. He know what downtown is at. Great choice, board. That was, that was a great choice. So, yes. It, it, and I, I wanted the staff to stand because I know what I mean what I mean to my staff, you know, they show me. Um, when I leave to go out the country, they check on me, you know, and they, I believe they generally, generally love me. I have to make my staff take off work, honestly. Like, you have to take off, you gotta go, you gotta leave. And so I know what Dr. Dale Nesbury means to this staff. They're losing a wonderful leader. And, and I, I can feel you. And I just, you know, uh, I, I, but I believe that Dr. Selman, he's going to do a great job. He's not Dr. Dale Nesbury, but he's going to create his own ways. He's going to start his own legacy. And y'all just get behind him and believe in him like you believed in Dr. Dale Nesbury. All right? Yes. <laughs> Connie Nesbury has been like a, a, a big sister uh, to me. We, we have broke bread, uh, had meetings, been in her house. Uh, we talked on the phone a lot, and we worked on a special radio uh, docu-series on sexual abuse that was heard 
uh, all across the country. Um, she's a very talented young lady who is very passionate about helping people. She's very passionate about doing the right thing. She's passionate about education. And she loves her boo. <laughs> he loves her Dale. <laughs> and, I, and they are a beautiful couple. And when I talk to Dale separately, uh, he loves Connie. They are beautiful. And we're losing her too. too. So coming to the mic, uh, I don't know what role she played in him retiring. I don't know what, what role she played in him coming here. But I know she played some kind of role because this is the boss coming to the mic right now. <laughs> Connie Nasberry. <laughs> feeling, whoops, <laughs> I'm breaking the mic, um, a little overwhelmed right now with all of the love in this room, and um, thanks, I'll, I'll leave it alone now. <laughs> um, I just want to say a heartfelt thank you to the staff, the board, everybody in the community, um, it, you know, when someone comes in to lead an organization like this, you can't accomplish what you want to do or your vision unless everybody cooperates and participates and does their part in it. So I just want to say a huge thank you. Um, I, Dale asked me to sing a song, and I said no. <laughs> um, but this one... Um, I may not get another chance to sing, so it's short. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I, I just want to say, too, I, um, I mean, myself and our kids, we have just been bursting the last few days with pride over all the things Dale's been able to accomplish. And um, my, our daughter, Nikki, is here. She has an announcement. Hi, everyone. I'm Nikki Nesbury. Hello. Um, it's, I, yeah, I'm speechless right now, but it's just so, uh, as my mom said, wonderful to see you all here, to feel the love in this community. Um, I'm just so grateful that my parents were able to come back and, and be a part of the community with you. Uh, I uh, just have a short announcement, which is, uh, <laughs> Having, we're having a flag flown over the U.S. Capitol in honor of my dad's retirement, and that'll be flown on his last day in office on June 30th. So. Oh. Thanks. All righty. Are we down to the man of the day? The man of today. Um, can this family please stand up? This family, Dale Nasbury family, kids, please stand up because we know this whole journey has been sacrifice that you all have allowed him to go out into the world and make this world a better place. And if you all don't mind, can, can y'all stand up too for the doc as we bring up the man of today? And Let's give him the biggest applause we have ever gave to anyone. He has changed Muskegon County, he has changed the state of Michigan for the better. The man of today, celebrating his birthday, the second longest serving president in the history of this beautiful college, Dr. Dale Nasberry. Thanks, Paul. Oh. Well, 
thank you very much. This is, this is overwhelming you know, to, to, a, to a very large extent. You know, I, every person in this room was invited uh, because you meant something to me personally. And I want you to think about that because when we first began having some thoughts about, so what should we do? You know, I could walk out the door and, you know, wave goodbye and, um, and wish everyone well. But, but we really do need to do something that's going to help our students at the college, and not just now, but in the future, and something that's going to be memorable uh, for you all as well. And the best way for us to do that was not to just have, well, who doesn't like cake, right? You know, got, got your child cake, got vanilla cake, got, got some great, great food as well. But um, you, you absolutely want to do something that's going to leave, leave um, uh, a mark on the organization, in this case, that I've been associated personally for the last 13 years, and many of you, for much, much longer than that. So for us, it was to combine my, my leaving with a way to, to leave some additional resources for our students. Uh, and, and the best way to do that was to build upon um, scholarship funds uh, and other uh, funds, endowments that we have here at the college. So that's, that was one of the things that we wanted to do. But it was, it was so impressive to me. I, I have a few names here of, of people who uh, may or may not have been mentioned so far today, but, but they strike at the heart of, um, in a very positive sense, of what I, what I wanted to accomplish. Some of whom I knew was going to be here, and some I frankly didn't. So the legendary Frank Ward, Frank, Frank, my man, Frank. So, so Frank and I have known each other since I'm going to say maybe 11th grade, 12th grade, something like that, and, uh, from, the, from our time with the MCC Jazz Ensemble back in the day. And, and Frank um, is a very humble man. He will never tell you this, but if you uh, name the legends of country or pop music, starting with people like Glenn Campbell, Frank's performed with them. I mean, he's done this work for the last 40, 45 years, I'd say, maybe longer than that. And he was always that kind of talented guy, very humble guy, but, and no one, no one knows who, who walks among you. And you, you think about um, having, having a person like that be a, be a friend and a colleague for those, those many years, it has an impact on you. Um, I mean, my, so my wife and my daughter, my wife went to Michigan State University, go green, go white, absolutely, as a concert pianist. I mean, that was what her training initially was going to be, working with uh, the legendary Ralph Bodopek, the, the first winner of the Van Cliburn competition. That's what she went to college to do. Uh, that, that's how much music uh, imbues our lives. My daughter uh, runs a social justice choir. Uh, she's toured Europe um, with Blue Lake Fine Arts Camp and been there since and done some wonderful things in her life. Now, I, I sort of kid her and tell her she's a lobbyist. She's not really a lobbyist, but she's just about a lobbyist. She does a lot of research, so she's a lobbyist anyway. But, but she's, she's a musician at her heart. And I was, I was thrilled to see so many other people here. Alexander Zajic, you know, some, some of you know Alexander. Uh, from his uh, work for the last probably 40 or 50 years. I mean, speaking of people who are, I mean, he's a mentor of mine. He doesn't know he's a mentor of mine, but I've been following this guy since um, probably right after college. Uh, you know, people like that who are, who are in your lives who have that kind of impact. The reason, I mean, you couldn't tell it, I haven't played that horn for like six months, and I'm sorry I picked it up earlier. But, you know, uh, the reason I was able to do what I could do was because of people like uh, the folks that I've mentioned. But I, I'm going to just share a couple other names um, of people you may not know, or you may, Dr. Don Weatherspoon. You might know him as the um, emergency manager from Muskegon Heights, but he was the first African-American state budget director in U.S. history. And let, let that sink in. You see, Don is just a nice guy, former All-American football player with the Michigan State University Spartans 1965 champion team. That, that's where you might know him from, but this man is, is like the legend. And I just am um, blessed to have had the opportunity to, to have known someone like that. 
I mean, trustee Ann Oaks. Um, she, she doesn't know that I had a crush on her in high school. <laughs> she, she was about four years older than me, and you know, she was in the same grade as my brother. I was like this little, little, little kid. And she was cheerleader Ann Oaks, probably the first cheerleader, uh, African American cheerleader at Reese Buffer, I, I'd guess. Uh, Joe Go Rockets, yeah. But biologist, brilliant woman, trustee for 20, 25 years um, at the college. Uh, you know, it's just, just we're surrounded by great people. Um, Ellen Jeffries, Bill Barman, I don't know if you're still here. Uh, they, oh, up, up back, back there, uh, back in the, in the corner there. Uh, the, the former director of the Senate Fiscal Agency for, for years, Bill, the former associate director. Uh, finance people to their core, in addition to music, finance is something that I was, was important to me coming in and important to me bringing to Muskegon Community College. And having colleagues like that, they sort of um, set me in the wrong or the right uh, path. The legendary Ray Flynn, mayor of the city of Boston. Uh, if you can make it in Boston working for the mayor there, man, you, you, you can do something that, uh, that, that's a positive thing. So I managed to work my way through the city of Boston for a number of years. Jeff Hansen. Uh, yeah, Jeff, I think um, I, we were probably going to do a lot of, uh, lot of fishing, man. It's, it's, it's a really good idea. I don't believe you're retired. Uh, that's, you, I don't believe that for a minute. But, uh, but that's great advice, and I hope Connie heard him provide that advice, because I'm, I'm going to try not to pester you and follow you around all day and do what I can do to keep myself busy. Um, a name you might not know, Mike Finney. He was the president of the Michigan Economic uh, Development uh, Corporation from about 2011 to 2013 or 14, just recently passed away, very young man. Um, but when, when uh, at the time, Rep Hans and then later Senator Hans, and we were working to get some of the appropriations and, and state grants moved through, sometimes at 2 a.m., um, work, working the crowds, working the legislature. Mike was there um, doing the right thing and making sure that funds came to Muskegon Community College that we deserve. You know, I mean, where I get passionate is when people say we don't deserve something. You know, I, I'm from this area. I did grow up in Twin Lake, Michigan. I actually saw if Dale Weiser still here. I shared the story with a number of people. Uh, Dale Weiser was a friend of my oldest brother, and I was probably this tall when Dale was in. Um, actually, no, um, I wasn't even born. Uh, to tell you the truth, I am named after Dale Weiser. I mean, so he, he, was, he was a guy, my parents had five kids, they ran out of names. So they, my brother said, what about Dale? So, and it worked and it stuck. 67 years later, I'm, I'm still going. And so Dale Wiesner is, is the man. And now one person who couldn't make it, and um, I, we, we met David Lingholm, a former student of mine at Oakland University, the legend himself, doing great things since the Dave, when did you graduate? Maybe 20 years ago, something like that for undergrad? Dude, man. So, man, you're so old, uh, your birth certificate says expired. But how, how did you get that old? And I'm, I don't know. That's crazy. But so Shaquilla Myers is the person who couldn't make it. She's a student, a, I believe a contemporary of, of Dave's. And she's now the governor, Governor Whitmer's uh, chief advisor. And she was an undergraduate student and a graduate student, student at Oakland University. And you, you meet these people who, I mean, they, they mentored me as much as I mentored them. But I'm going to give you um, a couple other names and then one final name, then I'll sit down and, um, and stop uh, boring you with uh, long missives here. But there are a couple uh, works of art in this room. Um, you know, my son, who had to leave, he's an artist. You might have seen some of his work um, around um, campus, but he's, he's exhibited all over the state, um, basically. Um, Muskegon, Grand Rapids, Art Prize multiple times, Muskegon Museum of Art uh, uh, Purchase Prize. Um, just a tremendous artist. But um, there is um, an MCC street sign right there and then there's an MCC sort of uh, just incredible kind of book carving that I believe is in one of the cases. So, so I'll bring up this name, and if you were involved in negotiations at the college, you may uh, be a little ruffled with this, but Mike Mischkowski, if you know that name, he made that. I mean, uh, you, you have to get to know people 
more than what they do in their lives um, at work to really know who they are. Mike's a cool guy, very, very highly skilled carpenter, but a very skilled artist. I didn't even know you could do that kind of stuff, but Mike, Mike did that. And Amy James, if it, is Amy still here? Amy, oh, there's Amy, we're hiding over there in the corner. Another rocket, I might add, is a good rocket. So, I mean, Amy, I don't know how you made, I still don't know how you managed to carve that book, but it's, it's incredible workmanship, it's an art, art, artisanship, if that's a word, craftsmanship. And, you know, she, I mean, I, I'd create a cottage industry for her. That's just incredible stuff. But you have to get to know people uh, more than just by their title, what they do. You have to know who, what drives them. And that's what, that's what I tried to do uh, since I've been at Muskegon Community College, is get, get to know people. Don't, don't just sort of uh, see myself as, I'm the president, I'm an important guy, but you know, I may be, I may have the title, but if I don't know you, and you don't know me, we're not gonna get anything done. And it just took everyone in this room, um, and you know who you are because you're all here. Uh, you, were, you were invited again because of what you managed to do for not just the college, but the city, the state, and, and any number of cases, the nation and the world. And you should be proud of what you were able to accomplish. So thank you very much um, um, for, for this day. Uh, I think we've, this proves that we are, as uh, uh, Board Chair Osborne noted, um, you know, continually among the top colleges in the state. You know, I'd, I'd worry a little bit if we were the third best college in the state, then we were the best, then we dropped off the map. But um, when we began to be recognized, I believe we were third um, in the state, one of the top in the nation, uh, top in the state, um, this is academic um, accomplishments in the classroom, not just what I say or someone patting us on our back. Then we were second in the state, first in the state, and most recently um, second in the state. I think that's the most recent uh, ranking. So this is over almost a 10 year period. So that tells you that what you all have done here has made a difference. So what, what my dream was, you've made reality. So thank you for the work that you've done. And with that, I will um, take a seat and probably eat the rest of that cake over there. So thank you very much, folks. All righty, yes, there you go. We're almost down to the end. Yes, round, round of applause. There's one last thing the staff have put together a video uh, for Dr. Dale Nesbury. So please uh, stick around, check out the video before we close. It's important that everyone feels as though this is a place where they can come and learn and grow as an individual. Muskegon Community College President, Dr. Dale K. Nesbury, a homegrown president, guided the college to new heights. As the college's 10th president, Nesbury's retirement concludes more than four decades in higher education, research, and leadership. His tenure as MCC president started in 2009 with a bold proclamation. The one direction that I intend to move this college as president is to becoming the best community college in the state and an exemplar for community colleges around the nation. What followed was a litany of impressive accomplishments. A revitalized MCC was ranked number one statewide in 2017 and 2021. It was a systematic process that we worked every single day to move forward. Nesbury's vision of transformation of MCC was fueled by confidence, grounded in a professional career, plying the critical academic, research, and analytical skills the college needed in a leader. That vision tempered by the perspective of one who grew up in Twin Lake. Parents Admiral and Sadie modeled a can-do spirit. I so much appreciate having parents who allowed us to believe that we could do whatever we wanted to understanding that there would be barriers. A love of the trombone led to a scholarship to attend Michigan State University. So Michigan State was one of those places that uh, welcomed uh, students of color. A political science and anthropology major, after graduation, Nesbury took a job with the Michigan State Senate Fiscal Agency, analyzing the cost of legislation. It helped me as a professional in ways that 
that benefit me today. In 1979, Nesbury married Connie, an accomplished musician and MSU alumna, who first caught his eye in the West Shore Youth Symphony. Wed now for 42 years, he and Connie have two children, Nicole and Matthew. He's the most supportive person in my life, and, and that goes uh, through all of those 42 years plus, as she will remind me, we dated four years before that. Nesbury's talent for data analytics led to a position with the National Conference of State Legislators in Denver, then to Boston as the city's assistant budget director and later contract officer. He earned a Master's of Public Administration from Western Michigan University and a PhD from Northeastern University in Boston. Nesbury entered higher education at Oakland University, where he rose from tenured associate professor to the university's Master's in Public Administration program director. In 2006, a stop at Adrian College as the college's VP of Academic Affairs, leading to 2009 when Nesbury was confident he could replicate the positive results he engineered at Oakland and Adrian on MCC's Campus 2. He promoted a combination of infrastructure investment and academic quality, instituted the college's first ever academic master plan, then oversaw a new strategic plan involving both campus and community input. Nesbury views the changing of MCC's culture from inward facing to outward facing as his greatest accomplishment. Community is our middle name, we say that, but it's serious. I grew up in Twin Lake. You know, I knew Muskegon Community College, but not everyone who grew up in Twin Lake um, believed that they could go to college, nor should they go to college. And that was kind of a mindset. And we needed to understand that mindset. That was what drove me to look outward. Additionally, looking outward to confirm student performance was advancing. Uh, the most important award to me is, is the knowledge that our students are doing better as evidenced by comparisons with every other community college in this country. Under Nesbury's leadership, MCC completed $55 million in infrastructure upgrades, his bipartisan outreach to elected officials on both sides of the aisle produced dividends. We needed 50 some million dollars to do what we needed to do. You can't do that, we don't do that here. We've never done that here. The college secured more than $20 million in grants and private gifts, and Muskegon County voters joined in Nesbury's vision for the college, approving a $24 million millage. Construction engulfed the campus, resulting in a new science center, new health and wellness center. Go Jayhawks! and new art and music building. MCC formalized a 30-year presence in Ottawa County with the opening of its Ottawa Center. The former Muskegon Chronicle building became MCC's Sturis Technology Center. Next door, the Rook Sarnicola Entrepreneurial Institute provided a home for the Lakeshore Fab Lab and Consumers Energy STEM Lab. That took the support of people in the community and people as far away as Washington, D.C. to get us uh, to a point where we could open those buildings. An equally impressive transformation occurred internally in MCC's classrooms and labs. Because our students just don't deserve it, but they can learn better in, in better facilities. And MCC became a national Achieving the Dream Leader College. I feel like the institution's um, better than, than it was in 2009. We've improved uh, by any any measure. Nesbury worked with local school districts to promote promise and early college initiatives. And from his earliest days as president, he set out to build a culture of philanthropy. Together, Dale and Connie Nesbury contributed $150,000 to MCC to date, supporting the endowment in their names. Most presidents, when they retire, they have a retirement party. I'm having a retirement fundraiser. <laughs> So for this endowment. Nesbury hopes to be remembered for leaving the college a more community focused and student centric institution. I think you ought to know that someone coming from Twin Lake can become the president of a college. And, and really that's, that's the message that I want to leave here. He leaves behind a legacy, one where big promises were not only made, but kept. Leaving with a smile on your face, I think that's the best uh, message that I could send to myself and my friends and colleagues here at the college. I'm gonna miss it. One, two, one, two.
Thank you so much for being a, a great audience. Keep this in mind, there are a bunch of Dr. Dale Nesberry's in our community. They just need people like us to believe in them, to mentor them. Dr. Dale have always told me that it was his parents, his neighborhood, his mentors that installed hope into him. And if, this is a very influ influential room. A lot of y'all have power and have influence. Let's continue to use that influence to have more Dr. Dales and more Connie Nasberries in our community. Thank you so much. Thank you to Muskegon Community College. Thank you to this audience. Thank you to the Nasberry family for allowing me to be here. Congratulations, Dr. Dale. One phone call away. One phone call away. I can go fishing with you too, man. <laughs> God bless y'all. Have a good night. Have a good night.